Y'all will not believe the tea I got for you today. Y'all, it's a double rainbow. It's a difference between being alive and living. Because you could just be alive and breathe air. And, and look into the sky and stand in place. Or you could live and actually go places and see things and do things and talk to people and engage in the world. One of my teachers anonymously went online, typed up this whole rant like about the school and about how the responsibilities were like not fair, the responsibilities that were put on them weren't fair with the circumstances. A student found it. So a student anonymously emailed the rant to my school. So when they found out, I heard, this is what I heard y'all, I heard the administration had a conversation with this teacher, whether that conversation was pleasant, I don't know. There was a conversation that was prob probably had between said teacher and administration. So not only did anonymously a student send it to the school, but then the students start started sharing the rant around. So now people got it on their phones, like people was got screenshots and video recording. <laughs> people got video recordings on their phone. It's hard to see the other one. So I was in my third period, right? And then the students start talking about something going on in the school. And I'm like, wait, what happened? They all was like sharing phone numbers and sharing the, the, the screenshots and stuff. And I'm like, what's going on? And I was like, I'm gonna focus on my work for now. Wait till I get back to lunch. Cause I know the people I talk to, they got connections. So they gonna know what's up. So I already know everybody's been talking about it because as soon as I go in the room, I be eating it with my friends. One of my friends come in there like, oh my gosh. <laughs> so I already know like it's something going on. So then what basically happened was one of my teachers anonymously went online, typed up this whole rant like about the school and about how the responsibilities were like not fair, the responsibilities that were put on them weren't fair with the circumstances and this and that and this and that and the other. So basically, teacher went online, typed up this whole rant. A student found it. <laughs> A student found the rent and you know what really got the teacher in trouble was the fact that she specifically put the subject she taught not only did she put the subject she taught she put what type of school my school is like the district and stuff she, you know she put only the specific details that somebody that works at or attends our school would know so that's what really met, caught her up and like her personal descriptors she typed in some of those like you you would know who she is based off the details in the thing so it's like well if you was gonna type up something like this and put it on the internet Internet. you shouldn't have been the specific and I feel like on your part it's kind of unprofessional that you went online and typed this up anyways in the first place so the teacher was about to go on maternity leave and this week she was gonna go on maternity leave turns out this maternity leave was gonna turn into her resigning anyways but since what she typed up online I don't know who I, one of my people know one of my people probably know they they was figuring it out when we, during lunch they was trying to figure it out DMing people and all types of stuff <laughs> and um so a student anonymously emailed the rant to my school I'm supposed to have her class tomorrow and I kind of don't want to go because I feel like it's going to be so awkward and knowing the kids in my class it's going to be somebody in there who brings it up I'm wondering is she even going to come tomorrow because I mean she was already resigning and now that this information has got out between the students it's going to be awkward if she comes tomorrow so one person was saying at lunch I, they got secondhand embarrassment from the situation like personally if they were in her position they just wouldn't come back in general like to be honest because it's just you, it's just this awkward atmosphere set in place now it's like who wants to who wants to be in that y'all i got her class tomorrow i hope either for her sake and and the secondhand embarrassment sake of everybody else i hope she just doesn't come or nobody brings it up because 
let me tell y'all some of the things that were said inside of the rant she was like i teach this subject and they're expecting me to do this this and that but without these proper things set in place i'm not able to do this this and that and that full responsibility responsibility shouldn't be expected from me or placed on me that's how she felt and then she was saying also oh because of my pregnancy i've gotta i've gotta take a uh, extra hours out of my week to do doctor visits which slows me down on my grading basically using that as an excuse for why our grades are always behind because y'all since since the beginning of the school year we take a test one month right grade's supposed to be done like after probably before the end of the month grade's supposed to be done but in the same month you're expected grades to be done right I'm, I'm just guessing I don't really know but I know it's not normal for three or four months to pass by after a test or an assignment and the grades are still not in our grade book that's kind of weird I remember we were complaining about that and me and my friend actually went to the principal to like let them know hey this this teacher we've been taking this thing in her class but she still hasn't graded it and it's been months it's the fact that the principal was like well we've had other students come forward and also complain and we're handling the situation so it's like knowing that it was not only us but other people too who had the same problem is it just shows that it wasn't just us it wasn't just us with this issue in her rant she was explaining why she, why that happened all uh, her pregnancy da, 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 is stopping her from doing all these things and she can't like come through on her tasks or whatever okay well before you got pregnant you knew this was your job and your responsibility. So because you have to take extra hours out of your week because of that, it's like it, it doesn't excuse you from knowing you had this responsibility and this job to turn our grades in. I mean, like, you're the one who got pregnant. That was your choice, your decision. And now you have to handle that on top of the stuff you already had to do. It's like, I understand, but you have multiple responsibilities and you know you have these responsibilities. You have to hold yourself accountable at the end of the day. I may, I may be being a little harsh, but I'm saying what I'm saying. <laughs> I don't know. So yeah, she was just addressing that. And she was like, these types of schools have just taken it out of me. Like, she was like, I don't give a something, something, something anymore. And like, I'm just, I'm finished. Like, I'm, I, I can't. I'm on my way out of here anyway. So deuces, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Y'all. Y'all should have saw my face when I was reading this rant. Like, I was like, oh, no, she didn't say that. Like, I wish I could show y'all, but unlike her, I know not to put all the specific information out there. It's Cause I know some of y'all are probably real nosy and I'm not giving you those details, I'm sorry. But um, y'all, I swear it was like a scene out of a movie at lunch. Like we was all like sitting on tables and sitting around in group tables and was like da 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 da. Yeah, da 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 da. Yeah, da 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 da. Like y'all, it was out of a movie. I swear, like I, I would never think something like this would happen in real life. Like a teacher's rent online being found by a student and being sent to the school and to the other students. I would hate to be in her shoes i wouldn't even be in her shoes because i would never if i am gonna go online and talk about anything i'm not giving any clarifying or specific details that could trace you back to me you're not gonna know my ethnicity you're not gonna know in what part of uh the world i'm in what time it took place what what the situation like no i'm not putting clarifying details y'all i just wanted to tell y'all this tea because i can't believe it like i couldn't believe something like this would happen and it's crazy how you could post something online and somebody could find it like that i wonder if she had just been like way less descriptive and specific about the information she put but this have not blown up it's crazy bro this is like a hall of fame tea moment y'all if there's a hall of fame for tea on this channel this is gonna be one of the top one of the top moments okay getting your dirty laundry aired out is crazy i have something to confess to y'all i think it was maybe last summer oh no 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 a year ago two years ago dang dang y'all it might have been the summer before this summer i went on a camping trip and i vlogged it and I never edited it and posted the video. I said I was going to too. And, and I don't remember which video I said it in. I don't think you'll find it. But I took a whole camping trip. I did mountain biking, swimming in the river. It was other stuff I did too, but I can't remember. It was really fun. Like I wanna go mountain biking again. I just wanna go out in nature. Like I'm tired of coming home, studying or watching YouTube or reading or editing or whatever. Like I wanna go 
outside and just breathe air and I want to be with the trees and the grass and the flowers and the sky I just want to be outside like it sucks because like y'all since I live in the area I live in I can't just go outside and exist like it's dangerous so I literally can't even like just step outside on the on the uh, patio and just like prime example of the hood somebody car going off I'm like, I feel like this is time being wasted. Like, I need to, I want to go out. I want to go hike. I want to go into nature. I want to, I want to go outside and like live. It's like, this is how I would describe this situation right now. I'm alive, right? I'm alive. I'm existing, but I'm not living. I'm tired and I want to get out of here. I'm going, I'm going insane, y'all. It's like the same routine, the same things every day over and over and over again. I need change. Without change, you become, you become insane. You become like cuckoo. I need to get out, y'all. I, I, I wanna get out. Like, I wanna breathe air, I wanna walk. I wanna go on a hike. I'm, I, I wanna get out. Like, I wanna go to the beach and skate and, and go to the beach and just run on the sand and touch the water. Like, I, I'm, y'all, I want to get out. <laughs> this sounds bad. No, I promise, I'm not being held captive. It's, it's, it's just like, with everybody's schedules, when I when I get home from school, my mom's still working. My brother's out working. My dad's working. Like driving across the country, trucks and everything. So it's like it's nobody I can really go with to do these things. And I don't even need anybody with me. Per honestly, if I could, I would just go by myself. But you know how parents are, and and I'm I'm young or whatever. So I need somebody with me. Make sure I'm good and taken care of, and I'm not getting need it into a back of a truck or anything like that i'm tired of this i want to go outside i want to go do something i want to go spend my free years while i still have them because y'all in a little while i'm gonna be in college i'm gonna be out i'm gonna be i might be out of state i might stay in california so i while, while i still have this time i want to spend it enjoying my life and enjoying my life is not sitting at home inside all day studying and watching youtube videos and and editing videos and reading and more studying like yeah that's great and all use your brain but it's it's like i can only like do so much scholarly stuff for so long i need a break i need fun i need to go out and do something because i'm tired of being in here y'all even playing video games it's like i want to go outside i don't want to do anything i don't want technology I can kick it to the back, except for my camera. Y'all could come with me. We can vlog everything, you know, share experience. But phone, computer, watch, iPad, I don't care. Leave it. I don't care. I just want to go and be. I just want to go live. Y'all can, y'all can obviously see how badly I want to do this. So, well, I done talked y'all heads off enough. So, <sighs> let me go eat some and then watch some, maybe edit. Maybe watch some more stuff. I, I don't know. Yeah, y'all. Talk to y'all sometime later. So.